Welcome. This is a 15 minute evening yoga for relaxation. Feel free to have some props nearby in case you'd like to modify. We'll begin standing at the top of the mat, taking the feet about hip width or a little bit further apart, distance apart, and we'll just begin to sway the arms side to side. Feel free to even get a slight bend in the knees. Be silly here and no worries about how you look. We all look a little funky here, <laughs> so just have fun. Just be in the moment, just you and your mat. Just allowing the hands to be heavy. We'll just begin to slow our sway, coming back to center, take your time. And then we'll begin to shake the hands and arms. This is one of my favorite things to do right before bed. And upon waking up, I just feel like it shakes out any bad energy. It really just gets the blood flowing through the arms, through the body. It just wakes you up or calms you. It just has that, that quality. <laughs> Interlacing our fingers behind our back, pressing the fist towards the mat. As you open the chest, take your gaze up. Nice big inhale, drawing the breath into the chest. As you exhale, begin to bend the knees, drawing the fists up towards the sky, or you can keep the fists towards the tailbone. Allowing the thighs to really support your torso here. And we'll gently release, straighten the legs, coming right into a half lift, flat back. Come up as high as you need. And we'll exhale, plant the hands, step it back into a plank. Full inhale, and as you exhale, plant the knees lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, untuck the toes, gentle back bend, cobra. As you exhale, tuck the toes, sending the hips up for down dog. Feel free to keep a bend in the knees, walking the legs, pressing the mat away from you. On your next exhale, plant the knees. Coming right into your tabletop pose, inhale, dropping the belly, take your gaze up for a cow. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down for cat. Continue sinking breath with movement. And as always, you have the option to just find some organic movement. If, if that feels best today, you can just allow the body to take you wherever it needs. We'll come to a neutral spine, making our way all the way down to our belly. Sliding that left knee up towards the left arm and just taking that left shin parallel with the mat. Now you can keep the knee a little further down, whatever works for you today, no worries. And you can rest the torso over a pillow. You can even place a pillow underneath that left knee for added height and support. Whatever works for you today. Again, modify however you feel. You can explore with pillows, bolsters, blocks. And just resting your right cheek on the arms or a pillow, of course. Drawing the breath into the belly. And as you exhale, doing your best to really soften the hips, soften the legs, the feet and the ankles. We'll inhale, gently release. This can be a bit difficult, just sliding your leg back down, and we'll switch sides. So taking that knee up as high as you'd like, or you can slide it a little further down. 
option to modify. And again, just drawing the breath into the belly. As you exhale, softening the hips, the lower back, the legs and the feet. And we'll gently release. Take your time here. We'll press into the hands, pressing the hips towards the heels, forehead or cheek to the mat. For child's pose, you have the option to take the knees a little wider and you can modify. So you can place pillows between the hips and heels. You can even place pillows underneath the torso for added height. Drawing the breath into the chest. And as you exhale, softening the upper back, the shoulders, the arms, the hands. We'll draw the breath into the belly. As you exhale, softening the hips, the ankles and the feet, the toes. As you exhale, go ahead and walk the hands over towards the left. We'll take one full breath here. As you exhale, softening the shoulders, the upper back. Inhale, walk the hands back to center. Exhale, take them over towards the right. Again, one full deep breath. And as you exhale, softening the upper back, the arms, the ribs. Inhale, walk it back to center. We'll gently release, coming all the way down to our backs. Keeping the back flat on the mat, we'll straighten the left leg and cross the right leg over towards the left for a supine twist. Now, if this is too intense, you can always place uh, pillows or blocks underneath that right knee, or you can even place a pillow or blanket or block underneath the right shoulder for less of a twist. Utilizing your inhales to really create space wherever you're holding tension, maybe in the chest, and as you exhale, completely letting go here, sighing out any tension in the upper body, the lower body. And we'll release, lifting that knee, switching sides. Crossing the left knee over towards the right. Option to modify.
we'll gently release coming back to center we'll take the feet mat with distance and just begin to rock over the hips rocking the knees side to side Hugging the knees towards the chest, giving yourself a pat on the back for showing up to the mat today. It is sometimes, oftentimes, usually the hardest part um, of the practice is getting to the mat. Everything else from there just flows. So you did it. You made it. You are incredible and doing your absolute best. And we'll gently release, taking the feet to the bottom of the mat, hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. Just taking a moment here to really soak in all the work you just did, maybe to reflect. Know that this space is here for you anytime that you need. You are so, so worthy of this time on the mat. We'll rest here a few moments. We'll gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, maybe bending the knees, rocking the knees. We'll roll over towards our right, taking a full inhale. And exhale. Gently coming up to a comfortable seat, whatever works for you. Inhaling the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.